Hello, hello, this is Mystic Moho, and I come to you today with a comic read. So, oh girl, comic is in an energy where she feels like divine masculine has hurt her. So now she's in an energy where she wants an alliance. Yes, girl, she wants to build an alliance with the feminine to get back at the masculine. And the feminine is like, oh no, dumb dear, you're not going to include me in your hate. I am not going to tag team and befriend you to do mean and hateful things to this masculine. So if you think I'm going to help you with that, baby, you can keep on moving, darling. Because I don't do those things over here. We're not hateful and nasty over here. We don't do vengeance. We leave that up to our divine and our ancestors to take care of. So, yes. What is the energies of the the comic why is she seeking assistance from divine feminine divine divine feminine holy spirit yes so this comic started this thing off and she's in a lover's energy and when one is in a lover's energy they have an inability to make sound decisions when it comes to love they are in an energy where there's a possible breakup or separation in their relationship there is an energy where there is constant communication breakdown in this karmic relationship. What else is the energy's Holy Spirit? Excuse me. Okay, so one is in a temperous energy in reverse. And when one is in a temperous in energy in reverse, they are in a lack energy. They don't have no balance. They don't have no moderation. They don't have no paces. They not grounded. They don't have no direction of where they are going in life. They have no self-control. They don't know, have no direction, have not made any path. They just all over the place. And wherever they go, that's where they land. So that is the energy of the comic. What is the other energies of the comic? So, they are in a 10 of pentacles energy, which means they are broken in a bag of glass in the trash. Oh, and it came in reverse. I'm sorry, the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so that means they broke it in a bag of glass in the trash. And they are going through financial failures. They are currently lonely. They are currently in energy where friends have separated themselves from them. Family has separated themselves from them. And they have made poor, poor financial decisions. And they have made poor investments financially. Okay. Alright. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today in the energy of knowing. Just because this divine... This, this, this comic wants divine feminine's help. We know, you and I know, that divine feminine isn't going to help her with this mess. But we would like to know. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Yes, we would like to know. Why do this look like that? Something just don't look right. That's what don't look right. I said two cards was out. And the two cards that's flipped over. Hold on, we're going to leave those unflipped. Because that just looked funny when I picked it up. Yeah, that looked real funny. Okay, so. The first two cards that was flipped over was Life Goes On and Spells. So we know your girlfriend. So we know that Divine Masculine has moved on from this comic. And now the comic wants to do spells. She's back at that magic again. Back at it again. Back at it again. You know what? What is the damn problem? I forgot who we did with here. We did them with a comic. Oh, I'm sorry. This just this, this don't look right. This just don't look right. Okay, whatever. This don't look right. Too bad. It's so sad. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We would like to know. What is these energies of this comic? And why does she feel like Divine Feminine is going to give her any, any 
any inkling of a help to do nasty, hateful things against another. That is not the energy of Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is in the energy where she's helping. Divine Feminine is in the energy where she is loving and grounded. She don't want to do no vengeance against another. So please, Holy Spirit, please tell me why do the comments feel like she needs Divine Feminine's help to do... Oh, no, we're not doing that. Oh, so baby girl, the karmic feels like she needs your help to do mean and hateful things to divine masculine because the same thing that was done to you has been done to her. This card that comes out is betrayal. The first card that comes out is betrayal because the karmic feels like divine cheat, divine masculine cheated on her, divine masculine lied to her, divine masculine put her in third parties and betray her. She now feels she's out for vengeance. She now wants you to be her alliance and help with the hate yes those is, is the energies that the comet is in however divine feminine is, is is in the energy like girl i am not going to help you uh do anything hurtful or hateful to anybody i am now in a loving myself healing energy that energy that you are in darling that is not for me i am over here loving myself i am over here in a healing energy darling I cannot help you with anything because my heart is healing. I can't help you with anything. Those are not things that I wish to do with my life. You are a toxic person. You are very toxic, Carmen. Therefore, baby girl, I will not help you do any mean, hateful, revengeful things upon anyone. If you want to do those things, you do it yourself, baby. We will not inform no uh, alliance with you, Toxic Tasha. We will not do that. Don't get mad, baby girl, because you look through that phone and you seen other women. And the things that you did to me has is now being done to you. What makes you think I'm going to help you out? What makes you think I care about how you feel? I have gotten over Divine Masculine. I have gotten over what you did to me, baby. I don't care what he doing right now, sweetie. That is your issue. And the comment is saying, baby, fuck you. I'm going to do my magic. I'm going to get Divine Masculine back. Whether you like it or not, I am going to do my spells. I am going to do all those mean and hateful, revengeful things to the masculine. Mm. And what is you saying about that divine feminine? Divine feminine saying, yeah, you thought shit was sweet over there. Mm-hmm, call it. You thought you was doing something by doing the magic. You thought you was doing something by taking, quote, unquote, what you say, divine masculine away from you, baby. You thought shit was sweet. No, you thought, oh, you didn't know if he cheat with you, baby. He will cheat on you, darling. So she was not sweet over there in the comic community. She thought she could do this magic and get this man. She thought she could do uh the sex magic. Mm -hmm. All those things that she did to get divine masculine was only temporary anime. So now you got to sit there and you got to eat that damn cake. Oh, now she's going through a situation where she's lovesick. The karma is lovesick because she is over there canceled. Divine Masculine cancels her ass and now she's in a lovesick energy because she's canceled. Remember when Divine, Ma Divine Feminine felt that way, Carmen? You ain't care nothing about her feelings. All you wanted was the, fe the masculine and conquering and getting what you want. So why would Divine Feminine help an a, a enemy? You are an enemy to her, baby. You are not her allowing it. So Divine Feminine said, if you want to do magic, baby, don't include me in it. Include your damn hating ass friends in it, baby. I don't want nothing to do with it. And the next card that comes out, Tag Team Hate Friends is helping to do fake things to another. So yes, the friends is hiding behind all these masses and things and helping the comic do hate upon Divine Masculine. And the comic is now hating because all of those energies that was done to you, that mirroring energy where you were ghosted, where you was gaslighted, 
where you was lied to put in third parties and all those things this next call come out is mirroring all those mean and hateful things that was done to you divine mass divine feminine it's now being done to her and she don't like it she don't like the fact that you have money she's now in the energy where she's getting a reality check everything she don't like the fact that you are getting your divine gifts and the reason why you getting your divine gifts is because you never put yourself in an energy where you were being hateful where you were doing magic and all these things and now this comic has over here had a reality check she's now over here thinking about all those mean and hateful things she was doing she's thinking about her immature behavior those things that she did to you, Divine Feminine, she's now thinking about it. She's now saying, damn, I really, 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 really fucked up that situation. She's now focusing on what she did to you and it's coming in reverse because she really don't care. Now, this call, next call to come out is focus. You are the target of her focus, honey. She's trying to figure out how did you leave the masculine alone? How did you let all those females go? Why you never got into confrontations with all these women? She's trying to get your energy, your loving, grounded energy. She's trying to figure out how was Divine Feminine so strong and was able to do those things. I don't know, but Divine Feminine saying, it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault that I be flexing on you bitches. It ain't my fault that I am more than my feminine. It ain't my fault. Hey. It ain't my fault. Hey. It ain't my fault that I'm here out here getting riches. It ain't my fault that your man out here texting bitches. It ain't my fault. Hey. It ain't my fault. Hey. She's a boss, yeah, running all calls, yeah, stepping over bottom feeders, they gotta get lost, yeah. We ain't the same, we ain't got the same ambition. We don't, I don't whip shit up in the kitchen. It ain't my fault, it ain't my fault, I ain't whipping up that magic in the kitchen. It ain't my fault, it ain't my fault, he out here with the stuck bitches. It ain't my fault, it that's the energy she's in. She's like, it ain't my fault, baby. Because I'm out here just a girl building my empire. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault that I'm here out here building my empire. It ain't my fault that I am out here building my empire. It ain't my fault. Hey, yes. And it ain't my fault that you a hater ass bitch. You a hater ass bitch still living in the shadows. It ain't, it's not my fault that you want to be me. It ain't my fault that you know you can't see me. You can't see me, baby. Because my head up in the clouds, darling. I don't see you hater ass bottom feeding bitches down in. Uh, being bottom feeders. I don't see y'all. The next card that comes out, she's saying, girl, I know you still be watching me hater in the shadows. The next card that come out, hater is still watching in the shadows, says Divine Feminine. I know you still hating on me, baby. I know you still want to be me, baby. And she's saying, yeah, that's the tea. You copycat, bitch. That's the tea. I still know. The next card that comes out is, you know I know the tea, sis. You know I know you a copycat bitch, says Divine Feminine. I know this, baby. She's saying, yeah, girl, I know that you stay in a confrontational energy over there with Divine Masculine. I know you stay over there confronting other females being in all that drama. I don't want nothing to do with that. Yes. She said, yeah, I know you over there burnt out from all those sexually transmitted diseases. Sex isn't wrong, but you gotta be right. And if you have sex, you better wrap it up tight. Listen to me, cause Mohawk ain't joking. Go up in something without a rubber, and your ass will be smoking. Okay, yeah. So girl, Divine Feminine is saying, girl, I know you over there burnt out from all those STDs, STIs, 
you be having going on up in there, girl. You all burnt out, but you work that on yourself, baby, because you don't respect yourself, baby. You need to protect yourself and stop having sex with all them men. Yes, girl, I know you over there in the energy over there in the comic community where your ship is sinking, baby. Yes, independent doom, disaster in progress. You over there living on 911 Freddy Krueger Lane while I'm over here saying, baby, I'm over here making big girl moves. Yes, girl, I'm making big girl moves. I'm traveling. I'm making that money. I'm living my best life. Yes, and I'm in the energy where life grows on, baby, and you need to get there too. Yes, we're not stunning on divine masculine. Put all of your energies into yourself and then you will be great, baby, because you're focusing on you. You're not focusing on another. You're focusing on getting yourself together. Karma said, fuck you, bitch. I ain't trying to hear that shit. You keep on telling me, let the divine deal with it. Fuck you, divine feminine. You trying to tell me, let my ancestors deal with it. Fuck you, divine feminine. I'm going to get out that motherfucking altar and I'm going to wipe up me another batch. Because the next one comes out is Spell Magic and Divine Feminine. She's saying, I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry for what I did. I'm going to do it again because I got some candle magic for that ass. So not only is she saying she's going to do spell work, she's saying she not. Hold up. Let's break it down. Break, 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 break it down. Yes. She said, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Yes, I have did spell work, and I'll do it again. And the next card that comes out is candle magic. So she's at it again. She's saying, yeah, because I found out that divine masculine over there messing with all these females. He got all these options and things leaving me by myself, and I don't know nothing about that. She's saying, yeah, I know about these options, and I'm going to get back from these options. She's saying, because divine masculine got me over here feeling alone. And Divine Masculine wants me to shut the hell up and silence me. But I am a comic. My mouth is big and you will not silence me, says Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine said, girl, I could care less what you saying. I could care less what you doing over there. I could care less all these energies that you giving, girl. Please go over there somewhere else. Divine Feminine is saying, I am making strong relationships with my money. I am building my brand. I am starting my email list. I am getting my money. I am becoming engaged with technology, baby. I am not thinking about you or Divine Masculine. I am getting my money. Ching, ching. I'm not thinking about you. I am not thinking about your bipolar ass because you did the sex magic to get the masculine. So, baby, please don't come over here, bipolar uh, Bonita. Don't come over here with your shit because uh, did you take your medicine today? That's what I want to know. Did you take your medicine because you sitting over here going, oh, after you did all these things to me, darling, and you going to ask for my help? Girl, you better go have several seats. There really is something wrong with you. Yes, girl, because you, your bipolar ass, did all this sex magic and all these things that you did to the masculine was only temporary and he wants somebody else. Divine Feminine said, girl, you need to take time for you. You need to give, get away from all this drama and get yourself together. This is why people, everybody is leaving from around you. You're nothing but drama. You give nothing but envy and strife. You need to take time for yourself, girl, and work on you because you're making it a situation where love is pain. Do you remember that pain that you put me in? It's a thing called karma, baby, and you're getting it back. You remember you put me through love is pain? You remember you had me up all night crying? Do you remember you had me watching Peter pop off but to give me some spring water? Yes, I lost all my edges. That's why I ain't got no damn hair. Had to use ball, be gone all in my shit because my hair coming out because I'm sitting over here worrying about you calling and playing on my phone. All up in my business, all up in my social media, claiming you taking somebody's man. Girl, bye, you better go sit down. And I know every single time you talk to the mask and you ain't nothing but a bald confusion. That's all you want to do is argue, fight, and cause drama. This is why he don't want to be bald with you. Girl, get over it. Let it go. The next card that came out is over. O-V, girl. It's over. Let it go. 
just face it. What you did to me is now being done to you because divine masculine wants no commitment with no one. When is you going to get that through your head? If he cheat on you with me, he's going to cheat on you. He cheated on you. Remember me, divine feminine? Remember, he cheated on me to be with you. So if he cheats with you, darling, he will cheat on you, says divine feminine. Hmm. And girl, y'all need to stop. Because, girl, I've been hearing about all these things that's going on in the comic community. And they're not good comic. Yeah, I've been hearing all these things about you. So don't try to make it seem like you the one that's been, um, been hurt. And you never did no things, baby. I heard it. You are in an energy where you're mad. Because you thought you was going to get a proposal. You thought you was going to get a ring, baby. No, Divine Masculine just wanted to get his dick wet. And I am a girl boss, baby. I'm not stuck, no divine masculine. I am confident. I know I am a capable woman. I am one that pursues divine feminine's ambitions instead of being around, being in others' energy, being negative. Girl bosses don't um don't team up with comics to do negative things. Girl bosses don't talk about uh other ones. Girl bosses don't put other girl other girls down. Girl bosses lift others up so they may rise. You don't do that, Carmen. That's what you do. You put people down, make people feel some kind of way. Divine Feminist said, I'm over here being a girl boss. I don't want to be in your energy. Baby, what I need you to do for me is enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. And I also need you to, baby, go seek a therapy, baby. You need to go seek therapy. You have childhood wounds, Carmen. That you need to take care of. Yes. Mm-hmm. This next come call come out is children witnessing abuse. So this is why you ugly, you fuss, you fight, you act like a damn comic. Because you're seeing your parents act like damn comics. Yes. And Divine Feminine saying, baby, 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 you need to get some inner peace with yourself. You don't have no violence. You don't trust nobody. You don't have no foundation, baby. I don't know why you feel like divine masculine is some missed opportunity. Girl, you thought he had all that money. He was spending my money. You know what I'm saying? You thought that that pants he was driving was his? No, it was mine. And he was dropping me off at work. And you thought he had all this money? No, everything belongs to me, darling, dude. Yeah, you found that out too. Yes, and now you're tormented, hurt, and revenge, and vengeful because everything that was done to Divine Feminine, darling, is now being done to you. Yes, everybody has turned their back on you, including your fake friends. They telling you to leave the masculine alone because they see you, him dogging you out, ghost lighting you, gas lighting you, just like he did everybody else. Mm -hmm. And yes, you still want Divine Feminine to come over there and help you, baby? She said, hell no. I am still unbothered with this bullshit. I will never help you with that. And I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like shit, no, I'm not going to say that yet. Because I'm going to bring out my cards. Because I want to know the real shebangy bang on how Divine Feminine feels about this situation. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yes, how do she really feel about this situation? Oh, Divine Feminine saying, girl, don't come over here asking for my help with those things that you're doing. Oh, now you feeling stagnant and stuck because your spells ain't working. Now you feel stagnant and stuck because you thought you was going to do that magic that kept that man. Now he went on his way to be with somebody else and fuck somebody else's life up. And yes. Divine, divine feminine is saying, girl, go sit down. You was the same one that sat there and exploited, exploited spiritual begin, ex, exploited spiritual gifts because you sat there and you did that magic and now you sitting over here being, uh, you are receiving your karma from doing that, baby. I feel no pain, for, no pity for you. And divine feminine said, hmm, uh, she saying, yeah, she know you ain't nothing. You that's what you do. Oh, the comic was like, oh, that 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 means nothing because she puts hands on the mind masculine. That's why he don't want to be wild with you. Yes, and this might be an Aries. This comic, comic, you ain't 
domestic says divine feminine divine feminine saying girl you got poor hygiene you're not domestic you don't go to work you don't wash his clothes you don't do anything for him and you're supposed to be a so-called man that a uh, so-called woman women take care of their men you don't do that divine feminine i bet mean, the comic sorry divine feminine Get mad at me, girl. Divine feminine saying, yeah, you stay in a lustful, seductive energy. That's all you know how to use is your lower extremities. And now divine masculine figured out that that ain't good. He wants something else. Yeah. And the divine said, yes, girl, you was in a comic toxic cycle with Kamisha, with cause, with a uh, comic call. Yes. What else is you saying, divine? Divinely saying, yes, this one is a manipulator. What is another characteristic? Why? Oh, stop lying. I don't have your bullshit. It's about that time. Damn, don't you look foolish. Because you know, I know, you know, you lying. And I'm going to leave on, on that note right there. Yes, she lying. There is no truth in her. Yes, divine feminine. She know that you are a smart one. She know that you are a strong one. And she know that you left divine, fit, divine masculine alone. And she now wants to know how to do those things. But sweetie, she don't want to leave divine masculine alone. She still wants the masculine. She still wants to manipulate the masculine. And she still wants to do magic. And there you go. There you go. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the messages that you have for the collective today? How do you want them to move? So, our divine says, forgive and you shall be forgiven, says Luke 6, 3, 7. Okay, so thou shalt love the Lord with all your heart and soul and with your with all of your mind, says Mark 12 30. And at the bottom. Okay, watch and pray that you enter into that you do not enter into temptation. Let me find out. We had all three of the apostles to give a message today. We have Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay. So this is how they wanted y'all to move today. They wanted y'all to move in silence, and they want you to keep the, your prayers on them. And I would like to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. But I would like to apologize to you because I did not come back to you all last week. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I was in an energy of, I don't know what the heck is going on with me. What is going on? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We know we got allergies issues going on over here. And, um. Okay, so I would like to apologize to you all for not coming to you all last week. I hate coffee. But I had um I had migraine two days out of last week and I just could not do it. And I don't know where all these energies is coming from, but I do know where all these energies is coming from. I don't know like what is going on in my little whole energy stratosphere, but we had the two previous dick deals that I used to deal with that will be BAM and that will be John Ryan. Okay, so I don't know what it was, but last week I had a dream that I was driving the car and John Ryan was on this side and BAM was in the back. And I was like, oh, that would never happen because two dudes that I used to deal with would never be in the car together, first of all. But after I had that dream, I don't know what was going on, but Friday was the day that John Ryan called me with the what's up big head. And this one, bam, gonna say, oh, I forgive you. Now, bam is the baby girl's father. And if y'all don't know, me and him used to fight all the time. And 
uh, it was a situation where it was a domestic situation and I did some time at Merlin House of Correctional Center for Women because that one wanted to put his hands on me and um, I'm a registered gun owner so I'm just going to let that go. So I haven't been talking to him, baby girl was seven, so we got a mutual third party agreement thing where it's, you know, we don't have no contact with each other because we still have an active restraining order because of that thing. So, okay, so, um, I don't know, like, what it is, but Friday, he came to pick baby girl up, and, you know, we're not supposed to have no contact. So, baby girl called on my phone, and I'm like, what do you want, girl? Ain't you supposed to be with your father? She like, mom, my daddy said, we eat grapes. My daddy said, do you want to join us? I was like, no. So, it's like, every time that he asks me things, he asks through my daughter. So, now my daughter like, mommy, why you being mean to my daddy? Why you being mean to my daddy? And I just, I, I, and I don't want to be mean, but I don't want that from him. Girl, he did too much dick building, and now he wants to come back over here and talk about, I forgive you, I'm sorry. You still forgive me, and you, you still sorry, but, um, oh, no, this was the thing. Now, when me and him was together, he would always say, I'm not your father. I can't be, I can't do what your father do with all these things. Oh, now when you want to contact me is... Oh, I now I want to be married. I want to be like your mother and your father and have, you know, all. And I'm being mean. I'm being mean. You going to sit here and try to, like, bring my family into the situation. Because my, my father, he don't hear nothing. You can't run nothing by him. My father be like, get the bullshit out of my face. That's how my father is. He don't go for it. So he knows. My daughter father know not to come with that because my my um my father would be like, go have a seat, go sit in the corner, don't come over here with no lies. But my mother, she will listen to. Her. So do you know my mother gonna sit here and say, which Rory, do have you even thought about giving him a chance? What do I need to give him a chance for? He cheated with my best friend. He had a child by my best friend. What what do I need to say to him? I'm glad he got a relationship with his daughter, but no. If you like my vibe, like, share, subscribe, and I'm being mean because I don't want to be put in third parties. I don't want to be cheated on. And because you feel like seven years has went past and you still out here doing all these things you're doing because your daughter wasn't concerned when you was a dick dealer. Your daughter wasn't concerned when you was doing all those things. So why is she is a concern now? She's a concern because you're trying to use her to get back with her mother. But uh, Mr. Stanzel, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave you alone exactly like what we were doing. And yes, oh yes, let me tell y'all about that situation. So this past Saturday, again, he's supposed to have his daughter this weekend. So he had his daughter two weekends out of the month. And um, yes, girl. So I go to one of our little friends' function, uh, um, a thing yesterday. Girl, guess who that? The baby father. And the baby father was watching me the whole time, right? He was watching me the whole time. So, girl, he comes like this with this in his hand, my old ring. I don't want that back. I don't want nothing to do with you. I do not want to be married to you ever again, honey. Anyway, uh, so um. When, you know, like, people was coming up to me trying to talk to me or whatever. I was like, I don't want to be bothered with nobody's son. I don't want to be bothered with nobody's nephew. I don't want to be bothered with nobody's grandson. I don't want to be bothered. And everybody was thinking that was funny, but I was dead serious. I don't want to be bothered with nobody's grandson. I don't want to be bothered with nobody's son. I don't want to be bothered with nobody's nephew. None of that. Nobody couldn't. No couldn't. Go on, sit it down. I don't want to be bothered with you. So, anyway, I see him at the thing. So, I'm like, excuse me. You over here partying it up at the um cookout. Where's your child? Oh, my grandmother got hurt. First of all, your grandmother is 83 years old. She do not need to be having no seven-year-old. I'm about to leave right here and go pick up my child because I do not think that that's fair that you have your child for the weekend and your grandmother is watching her. That's not fair. That's not fair. So when I go pick my daughter up, when, 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 when he get there, that's him at my door. He know I go pick my daughter up, but when he get there, he like, um... The, um, I, 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 I think we should have like a sit down and talk and let our daughter see us conversate because every time that you get her we I said excuse me we have a, a restraining order from the courts that's how it's supposed to be remember you were the victim you were so hurt and I did all those things to you remember that those were the words that you saying so now that you saying that everything all messed up you want to come back over here and you want to use our daughter no that's not what you're going to do Mr. Stanks